Hello, and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know, my name is David. This is simply a place where I'm putting up videos of things that interest me. Uh, my various hobbies, things that I do to keep myself busy. Right now, I'm going to be focusing on comics. Uh, I enjoy collecting comics. I sporadically collect it since I was a teenager. I've gotten uh, more into it over the last couple years, or I should say back into it and have been picking up comics on the cheap wherever I can. So today's video is going to be about grab bags. I get uh, grab bags from a store called Ollie's that we have here in Georgia. I know they're in other states as well. So if you have a hot Ollie's near you, you might have seen them. You might have noticed that they're a discount reseller of items. But what you might not have known is that they also sell comics. The comics that they sell uh, come in variety of various packs, either a five pack or a ten pack, and the price ranges from five ninety nine to six ninety nine, depending on what reseller they're getting the comics from. So with that, today I've got four packs of ten from three different resellers. Uh, I got two packs from the same reseller. I've been buying these ten packs. Uh, sporadically over the last year, year and a half since I found that Ollie's has them. So I know that I'm going to get a variety of Marvel, Independent, and DC in each of the packs. And they do range anywhere from the 80s up to within the last four or five years. I don't think I've got any super recent ones within the last one or two years. And it's kind of hit and miss because these are grab bags, these are resales from other comic sellers. So with that I'm gonna go through and show you what how they come, what's in each bag, um, the price for each package and I will open them up and you will get to see what I got at the same time as I get to see what I got. And then once that's done I'm gonna sit down and do what I always do, put them all in their little bags with boards and enter them into my comic database and I will do an updated video to see if we got anything super exciting in those bags. So let's get to it. Okay so what you see before you are the four different 10 packs. You can see these two are from the same vendor. This is a different third second vendor and this is the third vendor. So 10 pack is $5.99, $5.99, $5.99. This one is $6.99. But I got a good deal. Um, they were having a 15% off sale. So all four packs cost me $21.21 with a tax of $22.69. So it breaks down to about $0.55 cents per comic. So let's see if we got anything good. And with these grab bags, they're not quite mystery boxes because as you can see, um, you're able to see what's in them. The front and back on each of them, you can see the comics. Now these are uh, packaged pretty tight, so you can't really see, but I can see like there's some comics on boards. So they're already in a bag and a board there in this brand. Now these are a little bit looser packed. So you can't really leaf through, you can kind of leaf through. I see that there's another IDW hiding under that first IDW. Another one. So you can kind of get a little sneak peek at what you're going to get. And the same thing with this brand. I got Daredevil right there on the front. I got its DC Bloodlines. And this is a lot looser packed. You can kind of see there's an image. You might not be able to see it on there, but I can see that there's an image comic in there and another image. So we're going to see what we have. So we're going to start down here. We've got cover of Star Wars X-Wing Rogue Squadron from Dark Horse and a, a Zorro number one from Dynamite. That's kind of why I picked this bag right off the bat because there was a Star Wars and a number one. So I got my handy little scissors. We're just going to make it life easy and open this bag up and see what we've got. 
The other thing with these comics is that, as I said, they do range from the 80s up until now, and there's a fairly good variety. <clears throat> I fell on the floor there. But we can see the reseller, or the original seller of this is ND Comics, and they got their website there if we wanted to visit it. Um, they're saying that it's a $20 value and going for $5.99, so basically $6. So let's see, we got Zorro number one by Dynamite. We got a Marvel from 1987, DP7. Oh look, we got an Alpha Flight. Alpha Flight's uh, hitting it big right now. Um, again, from the early 80s. We got another Alpha Flight from the probably just early 90s. There we go, we got an X-Factor. I'm a big X-Factor fan. I've got uh, most of the X-Factor run. I'm filling in some holes now. All right, we got Action Labs Skyward. We got a DC, number one of four from July 99, A Bizarro. There we go, we got a Malibu. Um, Ultraverse, The Solution. We got a Cross Gen Comic, Sigil. And then the one that was on the back is the Star Wars X Wing Road Squadron. So that's what we got in that first 10. Some good possibilities. I'm going to set those aside. We're going to move on to the next one. Now when you go into the store, uh, they have these on the shelves. And you can flip through them and kind of get an idea of what you want to get. And what I do, I normally uh, grab, a look at the packs, and then grab the ones that pique my interest based on what's on the front and back or what I can see in there. So we got a... Fantastic Four. We got a Tales from the Crypt from Entertainment Comics. So now I talked a little bit in my first video about condition. These are pretty much red copies for the most part. I have gotten some near mints previously. Um, Valiant title. Apparently I flipped those the wrong way. Let's flip those over so we can go back here. All right. Um, so we got a DK3 book four from DC. This actually looks to be in really good condition. So this is going to be uh, closer to that near mint. That's going to be a good nine and a half. There's a little bit of color breaking on the spine. Oh, we got a free comic book day. All right, so what was in our bag and board? And even though these come in bags and boards, I always rebag um, because this bag board is too big for the comic, and it's Hamster Vice from Blackthorn Publishing. Got another Ultraverse. This one's Exiles number one. And you can see at one point somebody tried to sell it for a dollar fifty. We got it for fifty-five cents. Uh, today also a bag and board and as you can see it's too the bag and board is too big for that comic all right we got a ultimates 2 another free comic book day kind of cheese but some of these free comic book uh, comics the older ones uh, very rarely though can be worth a little bit of money And then the last one we got in there is a DC Tales of the Legion from December 86. Um, and condition wise, it's not really bent up, it's a little faded, but that's what you expect from a comic that's as old as it is. What are we looking at? 36 years old, so not too shabby. Set those to the side. All right, so. $5.99 for this reseller of comics. Let's see what we got in here. This 
used a 10 pack comic bundle up to a 49.90 value not sure where they decide to get their value from but uh, no idea who the reseller is on those so let's see what we've got oh we knew we were getting the uh, transformers bumblebee bumblebee's been hot for a while since all the transformer movies and this is a one shot all right we got a uh, back to the future from idw we got a tmnt from idw as well all right looks like we've got a marvel action avengers and an idw gi joe this looks like an idw reseller um transformers Flip it over there so we can flip them. Star Trek Discovery. Another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Another G.I. Joe. And Transformers Unicron. So that was a complete IDW pack from that reseller. And I do believe that is the first time I've picked up one of their packs. Um, because all my other packs have been from this first reseller indie comics or this last one that we're going to go over. So we'll see what we got here. All right. So this reseller sells his 10 comics for $6.99. And as you can see down here at the bottom, it says retail value $35. So let's see what we got. And I'm going to try to keep these comics separated per pack. So on my next video, I can show you what each pack uh, was worth or potentially worth. All right, so we knew we were getting a Daredevil. There's an image, Stormwatch. Freak Force, another image, Johnson Stroman Tribe, Brigade, another Freak Force, that's a duplicate, boo on that, Dynamite number 11, Kato, another image, Supreme, I got a Robotech Masters from Comico. And then a nice thick DC uh, Just League International Annual Bloodlines that we knew we were getting there. And that one's from 1993. So that that's our 40 comics for uh, $22. So we will take some time, put them all in the bags, and enter them into the database and see what we get. All right, folks, if you made it through, that's all the comics that we have. Like I said, I'm going to go back and enter them all to the, into the database, put them in their bags and boards, keep them separate into their four 10-packs so we can compare, see which one we might have got a better value with. Thank you for watching, and I will hopefully have another video up within the next week showing you the outcome. Have a good day.